Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International New Artisan Educator here and today we are going to do a very, very easy and quick set of the frozen snowflakes nail art. You can have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, so simple white set with a bit of snowflakes. I hope you will really enjoy watching it. So let's start. <laughs> This is a super quick and super easy um, winter nails. So we are going to use the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. So basically you would paint the client nails white. Uh, or you could keep them clear as well. I just want to show you like some tricks um, how to encapsulate uh, large particles of the glitter without of trouble. Okay. So, but first of all, we are going to do some nails in sugar. So this one is going to be sugar. And sugar is a must-have, like it looks so stunning on any kind of colors um, and it's so easy to do it. So basically you just apply the color of your choice and then top coat over it, sprinkle and then cure it and we've got amazing nail. Okay, this ones we will leave for glitter, so this other two are going to be sugar as well. And you know what guys, like sugar is an so effective uh, it doesn't come off and it's so easy to do it like you must you must use this technique for the winter time because your clients are going to love it as well ideally you want to have some nice small glitter um, because it's not as annoying like if you use too large particles of the glitter they might be a bit catchy uh, so i prefer using those uh, those small sugar and on each color it looks completely different sprinkle 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 so you will be you will be seeing me uh, using the sugar a lot in the winter time okay so that's the sugar done so quick and that's the nails done like it looks super cool on the clear base like i've got it here like just a sculpted nail and then sugar on top of it looks fantastic too okay the next trick is going to be how to encapsulate some snowflakes so we've got those boxes available on our website as well, like, and they are some large and small ones. And I will show you the large ones as well, because they tend to be the most tricky. Uh, so what you would do is you would paint. It's easy if we encapsulated it in the gel or in acrylic, so that's easy. But what if you've got a client with the natural nails? Okay, so if you've got a client with the natural nails, you could use either a base gel, and I will do one with the base gel, and I will do one with the clear uh, fiber gel okay so just so you've got two um, possible options depending what products you've got but no we're talking about natural nails so base gels would be better okay so we're applying a nice and thin layer of the base gel just a really nice and thin, thin layer okay I'm skipping the gel because we are talking about the natural nails okay so base gel nice and thin layer and then we are going to become those particles of the snowflakes. Okay, which one we liking? We liking this large one. Okay, we like. We, oh, we love this one. It's so nice. Okay, and you can see it is sticking out. Okay, it is sticking out. Okay, so we want large. Let's see what other ones we've got. We've got another large, just different color. This one is sticking out extremely, actually, which is super cool because I want to show you what to do when you struggle. Okay, and then here I've got another ones which are small. I'm going to place one small and one small. They are beautiful. Okay, the next step you are going to need is a tiny bit of the clean film. Okay, so I actually will just wrap the fresh one. So I've got a tiny bit of the clean film. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> so clean film. And we are going to put this clean film over a client nail. Okay, so you would put it over a client nail like this, nice and tight. And then using the pinching clamp, you will hold it in place so the particle of the glitter are nice and flat. Okay, on the nail. Don't put it like on the finger because it's not nice. And do not use the metal ones or the color ones because then the light doesn't go through it. 
So you have to use the clear one. Don't, also, do not place the particles of the glitter too much into the edges because when you press it down, they, they tend to move a little bit, okay? So place it in, smooth it out, and then press it down. Okay, once, once they're all nice and flat, put those pinching clamp in there and put inside the lamp. I actually got only one pinching clamp in here, so I have to wait for the other one to dry. But in the meantime, I will show you the sugar. Okay, so we are going to clean this one, the excess of the glitter. And the thumbnail is ready. It's so pretty and so easy. Okay, this one is cooked as well, so I can remove this pinching clamp. So you remove the pinching clamp. And then you just peel this out as well. Okay, so you remove the clean film from the nails. And then apply the second layer of the base gel because we want to add more snowflakes in there. And they're so nice and flat. Like, I mean, the biggest struggle was actually like how to apply them in so they are nice and flat. Okay, and then pick up another snowflakes. So I want one more in here. And one more in there. Doesn't matter, they are over. Like, I think it's more interesting look when they are layer one on top of another. Clean film. And the pinching clamp. Okay, next nail is ready. I hope you have lighted this trick. And I can also show you on another nail how strong the sugar is. So remove the dust and then using the blue scrap. Blue scrap is a nail um, dehydrator which contains some alcohol and acetone. So it's a really strong product. So I'm picking up lots of it on my wipe and I'm going over it, okay? So you can see it, it's not coming off. I have damaged the wipe because I have to keep it so strong, but the sugar is absolutely intact, so your clients can do the dishes, there is no excuses, <laughs> unfortunately. I love some of my clients, like they say like, oh, I had my nails done, and that's mean I don't have to do the dishes, and I don't have to do uh, this and this and houseworks, and then I'm kind of disappointing them, that's absolutely, they are fine, you can do really, everything with those nails. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this clean film. I have peeled one snowflake. and then apply some top coat over it. It looks super cool in the matte and it looks super cool and shiny effect as well. Okay, so apply the top coat, give it a cook. Quickly do it on this one as well. And then we are just going to smooth out imperfections and our design is finished.
Okay, so I'm just grabbing the file and I'm going to touch up the free edge, touch up the shape of the nail. And it looks like an icicles, um, really beautiful look. I think it will look really nice on the see-through blue, like if you've got some um, blue ink, which you could apply it and make it the nail nice and see-through, that will look super pretty too. Then give it a couple scratches. And I've got dilemma always. Do I want to keep those uh, particles of the glitter and matte or do I want to keep it in shiny look? Uh, because I think both looks really, really nice. Okay, in the matte look, it looks like they are um, Hiding in a, in a frost, like you can see it, guys, how beautiful it is in matte. Really amazing. Oh, just go closer. Okay, so in matte, like I totally love this look as well. Like it's really delicate, uh, sort of and shiny, but uh, depending what you prefer. And again, I'm probably curious which ones you prefer, matte or shiny. Okay, so I'm removing this one. If you don't want to have those um, <clears throat> wrinkly parts, you just need to stretch the foil really well, like the clean film, like so it's nice and smooth, so it doesn't have those um, wrinkles parts. I want those wrinkle parts because they are much, uh, much nicer like for those uh, wintery look, it looks like ice. Okay, oh gosh, I don't know if I want the matte or shiny. That's how the shiny look, that's how the matte look. Let's do them shiny and then for some other nails, uh, maybe for mine, I will do it in matte. So apply the top coat on this finished nail. And then cook it. Give a couple scratches to this one. So always, if we encapsulate large particles uh, of the glitter, I like to give it a couple scratches to make sure the surface is really nice and smooth. Doesn't take a long time. Clean it and then the top coat. And then cook it. Okay, so that's the finished results. It looks like an snowflakes closed in the ice. Really beautiful look. And then the last one. Don't want to touch the top coat too soon uh, so it doesn't lose its shine. But that's what we have created uh, today and I hope you have really, it looks super cool actually. And all those different colors. Uh, I hope guys you have really, I show you at the different angles. I hope you have really enjoyed watching this uh, tutorial. I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.